misses you, doesn't she? Maria didn't always live here in the zoo. Up until two years ago, her home was a park in central LA where Dominic used to go for his regular morning walk. So how did you first meet? I'm walking around Echo Park Lake. I'm just about finished and coming in to leave. One of the park employees by the officer taps me on the shoulder and he says, hey, Dominic, uh, you know you're being stalked when you're walking around the lake. <laughs> and I said, uh, like, you know, what are you talking about? Because this is a big city park. There's gangs and stuff hanging around there. So he points to this goose about 50 feet away and he just says, her name's Maria. He laughed, he thought it was funny. But I looked at Maria and Maria was just was just glaring at me, just glaring at me. And I just waved and said, hi, Maria. How you doing, Maria? And I thought it was kind of cute. I left, came back the next morning, and Maria came right to me, right in front of me, and just looked up so innocently. And I just fell in love, just like that. <laughs> You're my friend. And within a matter of just a few days from her just circulating around me as I'd go, I took the lead position. So Maria would always walk in front, leading the way. The pair quickly became inseparable. When you fall in love with a goose, you've got to be aware of what you're getting involved with. But their loyalty is phenomenal. Remember, they bond for life. So I basically feel like I have a certain sense of responsibility. For the local residents, they became something of a celebrity couple. One time we had 100 people marching behind us as we're walking around the lake and we're singing Maria songs. And I mean, it became <laughs> such a festive thing. It was really remarkable. In 2011, the park authorities decided to drain Echo Park Lake, part of a two-year renovation program. For her safety and survival, Maria was moved to the zoo where staff soon discovered that she may have been misnamed. We did a little Valentine's thing on one of the local TV channels or something, and it was a perfect relationship, unusual relationship, <laughs> a man and a goose, that uh, Dominic and Maria, and I, I think like a week or two after that, the, the head vet here calls me up, humorously says, hey, Dominic, you got a problem? And I said, what's that? He says, well, your girlfriend's a boy. <laughs> so Maria became Mario. Oh, Mario. Is he showing He's off? He's showing off. <laughs> but the bond is as strong as ever. Geese are well known for being a species that imprints. In fact, they were the first animals scientists studied when they were trying to understand the phenomenon. But Dominic definitely wasn't the first thing Mario saw when he hatched. Dominic suspects that Mario was a domestic goose that had been abandoned at the lake, and so was looking for a new companion. And uh, he found me, and he determined I'm always safe to be with. When he's with me, he feels safe. He knows I'm, I'm one of him. <laughs> 